And number five is just building your relationship with God. That's really the foundation of it all. If that's not going well, nothing is going to go wrong. Well. Right. You know, he's not going to bless you. When you deal with trials, you're just going to try to do it on your own. You're going to continue falling on your face every single time. What does that look like? Digging into the Bible every day, praying, meditating on God's Word, memorizing it, sharing with others, engaging with other believers. You know, iron sharpens iron. We're all in a different process, trying to move forward. And yeah, I like how you said that because that's one of my passions. Everybody's different, and we're all not going to see things the same way. But God sees us for who we are. You know, at the end of the day, if you're putting your best foot forward, if you're conveying yourself as a godly man, and you're leading your family, you're loving your wife, you're confiding in other men to help you grow spiritually and, and as a leader, as a man, spending time with your kids to show them what that looks like. At the end of the day, you're going to have a sense of fulfillment and understanding. You're able to convey or communicate through your business. Not everybody's going to buy into that. Not everybody appreciates Christians or believes in God, but hold yourself to those types of standards. Uh, the rest really takes care of itself. Right? It's about having integrity in business. And when people know that, that you stand for something, you believe in honesty, having trust in business, you're going to do whatever it takes to help people. And if you're able to take a back seat to yourself, put God first, put your wife first, put your kids first, put your clients first, really find out and understand what their needs are so that you can cater to them, and do well, and succeed with them. But it's not about... How much money can I make? Because at the end of it all, you can't take it with you. Right. I've been to some funerals recently, and a few of them, there was hundreds of people there. It was because of they invested in people, and they and they, they love God. Being forced about what's my priorities in life, it's the loving God, loving others, loving my spouse, loving my kids, treating others well, helping people. Thanks for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Um, check it out on Facebook. Check out my YouTube channel. If someone needs to hear this message. Um, share it with them or have them reach out to us. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be about buying a house or anything like that. Just if there's a way that I can help them, let me know. Yeah, I think the purpose of this whole video podcast isn't necessarily, like you said, to promote our business. is to promote you know who we are as men, who we want to be as men. You're looking for what we have. Um, you know, that's really what it's all about. You know, we were those guys, right. you know, not long ago. We also know how much it did in our lives to be able to really start addressing or looking into how we can be, be better men, especially dads. The future, you know, needs to be bright. It should be bright. And at the end of the day, it's up, it's up to us to make sure that happens. And we appreciate you guys joining us. God bless. Have a good day.